All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our free online courses. And today will be the alignment in Civil 3D. So today course, I will show you how to create the alignment in Civil 3D. So first of all, let me introduce you to the alignment. So what is actually alignment? So alignment is a representative of a line or a linear line in Civil 3D, which will Will, which will generate the uh, cross, uh, the workway, uh, the roadway, the crossway, railway, uh, uh, baseline, and so on. So it it can create, it can uh, create an object like uh, profile, uh, corridor, overweight volume, and cross section. So we need to get alignment, we need to generate alignment to create our corridor or a profile or a cross-section and so on. So there is two methods to create the alignment. The first method is by object. So you create alignment by object. The second method is you create the alignment manually. So I will show you the first method first. So here I already have my point with a surface in it. Okay. So to generate alignment, you need to go to the create design panel here. And then you will find there is alignment drop down. So you click on this alignment drop down. You will find there is bunch more option that you can choose to create alignment. So what I want to show you is this one, create alignment from object. So I click on this create alignment from object. And now Civil 3D want us to select the object. So the option here, you can see uh, what object that you can select in Civil 3D are line, art, and polyline to generate the alignment. So I click on this object here. So here I already have a polyline which connected the point of CLRD. So I just simply click on this point, uh, this polyline and I click enter at my keyboard. So it will show you the flow of your alignment. So if the arrow are showing in this way, okay, if the arrow are showing in this way, which means your zero, zero station or zero, zero point of your alignment will start from this point. So for example, you don't want the flow uh, direction in this side, in this direct direction. So you may change it by clicking this reverse button. So once you click on the reverse button, it will automatically pop up this create alignment from object box. So here is the setting for your alignment. First, you may add the name of your alignment. For example, this one is CLRD alignment. And then here is the general setting. You may set the site for your uh, alignment. And then the, uh, if there is alignment, uh, if there is a site there, and then you may set the alignment style. For now, I'm using the purpose. So if you don't want to choose uh, purpose style for the alignment, you may click this drop down and then you can find there is more selection that you can use. For example, existing, basic, and so on. And here is the alignment level set. So currently, it's set as no label, which means if I click on OK and generate your uh, generate my alignment, there will be no label at all. So uh, you may set the level now or after you create alignment afterward. So if you want to set now, you can, you can just click on this drop down level set and you will find there is an option that you can choose that is measure and minor only, uh, measure minor and geomet geometry point, all levels. So you may choose this one. So now I just going to select on no levels. And here is the setting for the curve in your alignment, conversion option. So if you want your alignment have curve, uh, just not a straight line, 
So you need to check on this add curve between tangent, this one. And then you can uh, assign the radius for the curve. So right, right now, the default radius is 200. So you may change it to a bigger, bigger value, 500 meter, 100 meter, or a smaller value. Okay, if you don't want, you can just uncheck on that. So the last thing you need to do is check on this erase existing entities, which means it will change your object or your polyline just now to alignment. So if you don't want it to change, you may uncheck on this one, which means there will be there, uh, which means it will still generate your alignment, but the polyline will be uh, will will uh, be there, will still be there. So I don't want to change. I don't want to. I don't want the the polyline uh, still there. So I want to change the polyline to alignment. So I need to check on this release as it is. Okay. So. And next uh, for the setting is the design criteria. This may be the design for the speed. And then for the criteria of design, this is more advanced for the uh, setting. So the speed here is 100 km per, km per hour. So you may change to 110, 150. It's up to you. And then I click on OK. So now my polyline just now, if I uh, bring my cursor to the line there, there is alignment. It's changed to alignment. Okay, how I add the level uh, now? So you may see this is just a simple line, but that there is alignment. So I want to add the level right now. So to click to, uh, to add the level in the alignment, so you may just click on the alignment there. And then this panel or tab for the alignment will pop up. There is so much editing you can use to edit alignment, to generate a profile, and so on. So to add level, you may go to this first box here or first button here, add level. And then you click on the drop down. And then there are few uh, there are a few selection of level that you may add in your alignment. For example, I want to add the level for major station and minor station. So I just click on this add and edit station level. And this alignment level box will pop up. So currently, if you see in my schedule here, there is no levels being added now. So to create, to add in my uh, schedule here, so you may first uh, pick the type that you want to insert in your lab, uh, insert in your alignment. For example, I want it a major station. And then here for the uh, label or for the tick, uh, it will be perpendicular to tick. So there is three options that you can choose for the for tick. For the measure uh, station, first is a parallel with thing, uh, perpendicular with line, and also perpendicular with thing. So you may either choose these three. So for example, I want still using the perpendicular with thing, and what you do is you need to click on this add button. If you didn't click on this add button, and then you just click OK, there will be no level in your alignment. So you need to click click on add. And then the second thing is a uh, second type of level I want to add is minor station. And uh, it will just be a tick there and click add. So the increment uh, from uh, station one to station two, uh, between station, you can change it, uh, the, the gap, okay? So here the gap is 20 meter from a station one to station two, the uh, value. So you may change it to a bigger size, bigger value or smaller value. For example, I change it to 50. And then the minor, which means the center of uh, the center between major station, uh, I change this one to 25, for example. And I click on apply and click on okay. So there, will be my label. 
if I zoom in, so it start from here is zero zero station, and then end at zero point five nine one station. So that is how you add uh, alignment by object. So next, if you want manually add in your surface, so freely you can draw in your surface uh, by using this alignment creation tools. The same uh, same method, go to alignment drop down. But right now, you click on this alignment creation tools and the same uh, box, but this one is for layout. Create alignment by layout. So this one may be the alignment for root A. Okay, now you may set the setting. Uh, this is same as the setting for the object just now. The side, the alignment, the label, and the design control and so on. Okay, and I click on OK. So another bot will pop up, which, which is uh, the layout tools alignment for root A. Okay, for alignment root A. So to draw in your surface, you need to go to this first button here, draw button. So there is two options to draw. First one is with no curve, which means you just draw a straight corner. There is no curve. The second one with curve. So for example, I'm using with curve, uh, draw tangent, tangent with curve. I click on this one. And I start my alignment, for example, in this point, at this point. And I freely do my alignment here. Okay, if you want to end the command of your alignment, you want to stop creating alignment, you can simply click enter at your keyboard. And if I click enter, it will automatically generate the alignment with a level because just now I set the level there and the curve like that. Okay, simple as that. So that is how you create the alignment in Civil 3D by object and manually by uh, alignment creation tools. So that's all for our today courses. And I thank you for joining me and thank you for your concentration. See you in our next free online courses. Bye-bye.